I All guess right. it's, we're on since uh, Dirk's not here. Okay. Thanks for coming back today. I'm yes. sorry about the technical problems. I'm glad. And uh, uh, Aldi this morning is like, uh, Air of Inventions didn't work. I need, you know, uh, and, and I'm like, what? And then Dave, because that's important. And then uh, Dirk's like, no, 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 he's coming back today. So thank goodness. So one more time, let's go over yes. uh, your game. At least yes. I'll get to hear it this time since I wasn't paying attention. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, busy. Yay, Lincoln. Hey, Lucas there. Yay, Good morning, Lincoln. man. Last oh. day, last day here in the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Day five. Yes. For us. And my yes. voice is pretty much shut kaput. Therefore, Lincoln yes. will be doing a lot of the camera work today. <laughs> yes, yes, Thank yes. You. Yes, we got to do it now because yes. we're all starting decomposing. So, so. Uh, Everything's recording. All right. Well, my name is Anthony Dahmen. I'm from Amsterdam, Netherlands. And uh, this is my first game published. It's called Era of Inventions, uh, published by Quinnet Games uh, in Holland, too. This is a real Dutch product. The painter is, is, is Dutch, I am Dutch, the company is Dutch, so you can't get it more Dutch than this. Yeah. So where it's all about, we see here the game called Era called of Inventions. What we see here is the great exhibition of the 19th century. We see here all kind of inventions uh, that uh, the players uh, can invent. For example, the cash register, sewing machine, telephone, typewriter, on and on and on, until the airplane. So what players do, they use development points like this and they're changing them around. For example, I take myself as an example, I, I set it up for two player, but right. it's for a three, four, five player game. So for example, I want to invent the sewing machine. I pay one development point, I put my marker on here and I receive one victory point for, the, for inventing it. So then I put my marker over here my pawn and I receive one victory point. So now everybody can see that I am the inventor of the sewing machine. Then I have three cards over here. Those are two different cards. We have the official cards. That means that the resources are on bottom of the card is what you need to produce the sewing machine. So let's say you do so. You produce one sewing machine and you pay the goods under it. Yes, this is a triple one, but it doesn't right. matter. You put it over here. You receive three gold, three gold, and because you have invented, of, or you have produced. Produced, my, yeah. Sorry, exactly. it's still so I'm, still I'm early. So I'm licensing it from the design from the. Yes, inventor. yes, yes. So then I get one victory point, and you get three gold. But now here it comes. We have also a fake card. Uh, that means a, uh, that it's a crap sewing it's machine. It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, we call it. <laughs> I'm tired too. It's a uh, knockoff. A knockoff card. Well, we, 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 all right, a knockoff card. It's a made in China product. Right. It's crap, and you can use other resources in, in any kind of order uh, to produce this sewing machine. And when you do so, like this, uh, yep. I, I don't receive my victory right. point. Right. So, what I can do to protect my own sewing machine market is having a patent. So, what then I do? I pay one gold, I go stand here, I receive one victory point again, and then I stand here here and this is just a little bonus then I receive one uh, purple, purple resources okay. from the from from the board and uh, that's what I receive so now when you are making a sewing machine uh, in any kind of in any kind of order in these one of these three cards I receive my I receive my uh, my victory point so then I put my marker here so that everybody can see that I'm the inventor of a patented sewing machine. So there will be no cheating at all. Right. So that's the way it works. So then these are, these are out of play? What no, part? no, no, they stay in the game, but I'll come later on that. Okay, okay. So now you think, hey, that's a good idea. Somebody invented the sewing machine. Well, you know uh, that when there's an invention made, then there's always coming somebody else who thinks, oh, I can make it better, or right. I can make it in, Improve, an improvement, improvement on yeah. that. So what you can do is here we see in the golden squares, we see all the, uh, the main inventions, and around it you see silver squares. Those are the technical improvements or breakthroughs or whatever you call it. Right. So what you can do is you pay one development too when it's your turn, you put it over here, and you put your marker here, you receive one victory point as well. So next time somebody else is making the sewing machine, then you receive one gold and I receive one victory point. But when if a fake card 
uh, will be made, then I receive a victory point, and you don't because you didn't patent, patent it. Right. So that's that's your for you a problem as well. Right. So that's the way it works with um, with inventing cards and patenting and producing them. So what we see here are seven producing cards. So every time an invention is made, the next round. The, the deck will be shuffled and new inventions are, are available, available for production. So everybody can produce it in some kind of order. And that's the way it works. You pay what's under it and you receive what's above the card. So here we have some factories. Here we have some factories that we can, uh, that we can buy. We pay wood and coal for that and receive the cards. So when you start producing these cards, you receive from all the cards on top the amount of resources that you can use for development or for producing or any kind of gold. Here you can buy resources in the order of uh, one gold, this is two gold, this is three gold, so you can buy whole ship loads and every time when it's not bought it gets refilled or uh, in the starting order again. And this is a section where you can buy uh, or you can trade uh, anything on the market. It's an exchange market or you can receive one development point for free. So when we start playing this game, then everybody is placing a token because it's, it's worker placement. Everybody is placing a token and after, after everybody has done that, um, we start carrying out all the actions. Um, so that's what you can do. Then there's a called a mini action, it's a, it's a bonus token, it's a special thing in the game because with worker placement games if you have if you are stuck with it then there's no possibility to turn it back. Right, right, true. I hate that kind of thing. So I designed uh, and developed a bonus action token that means that you can do one mini action on the board. It doesn't matter where you are with your with your with your with your token. Maybe you stand here. You stand here and you carry out your action by developing something and then you can buy one card, buy one factory, buy one resource or uh, do something else on the board. So you, you can snatch some cards away right. uh, from somebody else. Before they can Before turn they it can around. Take yeah. it. So for example, we are standing here and for example I am brown. Then I do my action here in brown and you guys are standing here. But with my extra token, I can do this card before you. Uh, and you can do something else. So, so that's an extra thing. You only have a few of those. You, you have a limited amount of them in a yes, game. You that don't, don't replenish. Yes, so. that depends on how many players you, with how many players you are playing this game. Uh, but it's a real nice thing because you can use it uh, in a tactical way when you think it's necessary to do. And you can buy them back here on the exchange market for, for two gold. Oh, okay. Uh, this, this game will be played with, 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 with three people nine rounds. So that means that everybody is a starting player three times. Uh, and it's, it's changed in every round, uh, the starting player. And when you play with four people, you play uh, eight rounds. And when you play with three people, you play nine rounds. And with okay. five people, you play uh, ten rounds. Okay, great. So um, that's the way it works a little bit. That sounds good. Sounds okay. really good. So how's it been selling? Hmm? How's it been selling? Uh, we sold already, I guess, four or five hundred copies. Oh, that's great. Yes, because we uh, we have a few thousand in production. Right. And uh, we have other man other uh, distributor who yes. can friends who's doing the rest. So um, and we, we 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 didn't do so much uh, PR or PR in this game at this moment, but uh, our tables have been full all these days, and people are waiting to get. To, 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 because they want to play the game. Right. And um, there's a lot of interest uh, for this game, uh, but Quinnet is just a, a, a small game company. Right. So we are very happy with this product that there's so much interest for it. Right. So um, a few days ago, we were number one on the bus yeah, geek been, list, and I was so proud of that. So, it's uh, been in there, it's definitely moving around. Did um, is it available in the United States? Is there a, a distributor for the United States? We are working on okay, that. Good. So I hope 
Yeah. I hope that when people in the United States can play this game. Well, BGG Con, they'll be playing it and get to try it out. Yes, so, yes. So there'll be some uh, desire yes. to get it after yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. Two days ago, you received a copy from me. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, you know where to find me on the on the era of inventions uh, uh, geek site uh, on okay. BGG. Great. So if you have any questions or, or whatever it might be, or good ideas or suggestions, please let me know because I'm very interested in uh, what people uh, are thinking about this game. Mm -hmm. So above all, for me, I'm designing games for more than 20 years, and for me, I rather make one good game than. 10 bad ones. Right, so, right. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks a lot, Anthony. Yes. I'm really glad you came. Yes, yes, and thanks. And we made it all the way through to the end. Yes, <laughs> that deserves <laughs> another I'm shake. I'm so glad you yes, made it. Yes, yes. Take so, care. Yes, you too. Thank and, you so uh, much. Maybe uh, until next year, because uh, open. yes, because I uh, I don't want to I don't want to be a one day fly, you know. So uh, yeah, uh, uh, one shot, uh, one hit wonder. Well, you want to be one hit? Yes, yes, yes.